Aliens vs. Predator That title brings up many different feelings in the Aliens universe. Many fans loved the idea and saw the movies as official Alien canon. Some hated the idea and saw it as a Hollywood money grab. Still others like the idea, but they see the AVP stuff as its own alternate universe and not directly attached to the Alien movie franchise. Either way, anyone would be hard pressed to not admit the idea of an alien facing off with a predator isn't pretty damned awesome. There was just one major problem that happened when Fox went ahead with the AVP movie. It scared off some of the writers, directors, and even actors from doing any more work on the Alien movies for quite some time. Even Sigourney Weaver still won't watch the AVP movies and was quoted as saying, well I haven't seen them because I heard the Alien doesn't beat the Predator and F that. We've all heard of the Alien 5 movie from Neil Blomkamp that was proposed a while back. Well, there was an Alien 5 idea going around before that one, and it had both James Cameron and Ridley Scott attached to it. James Cameron had proposed that he would both write and produce with Ridley Scott doing the directing. Back in the early 2000s, Ridley Scott was thinking of returning to the Aliens franchise, with the return of Sigourney Weaver as Ripley as well. The only issue being, the ideas at the time were to have the alien conflict take place on Earth. Even though we were told that James Cameron was going to be the writer of the film, it's not known if any of the ideas such as having the film take place on Earth were ideas of James Cameron's or Ridley Scott's. It should be noted that Sigourney Weaver never wanted the Alien franchise to go to the planet Earth, but with the ending of Alien Resurrection, the franchise was pointing that way. The studio, Fox, had seen Alien Resurrection as a kind of stepping stone that would lead into two larger movies being Alien 5 and 6. A Fox representative was quoted as saying, We want to do Earth or the big alien planet, but we're not convinced yet that the franchise has legs, so we want to do a smaller story. I don't think you can do that with Alien 5. I think the time of people running around in a tin can has passed. You have to work on a broader canvas, otherwise it becomes an episode and not a new movie. The way Cameron exploded from the first to the second film, you have to do that again, and it means going somewhere new. With Alien Resurrection, I used the first two movies as models, but with this one, I can promise you something new, something completely different from what's been seen before. Joss Whedon had been tagged to follow up Alien Resurrection with an Alien 5 film, but he chose to go a different route after Alien Resurrection's release. In 2002, the Latino Review interviewed Ridley Scott, and he had this to say about the proposed Alien 5 movie. You know, I thought it'd be nice. I'd do it. It really is entirely dependent on the take of the material. It's all about the material. I've been asked about Alien 5 and I said, of course. We've started a script meeting. I mean, I've started it off so I may as well close the door. If in fact this is meant to be the last one. I will decide in the next five weeks. I'm looking at Alien 5 for sure. Why not? Maybe. Number five was to be set on Earth, they claim with the planet under attack from alien warrior dropships which made their debut in the original Alien movie. Now this has to be referencing the derelict ship with the space jockey. In the process, they make Earth look like an incubator while attacking, leaving alien eggs around the humans. When Ripley realizes her dreams have played a role in what's happening, she evacuates and confines herself to a cell, but inevitably, she will meet her nemesis again face to face. A year later in 2003, Zaptuit.com claimed to have information on the plots to Alien 5 and the Alien 6 film. The summary for the 6 movie was brief. Number 6 takes place on the home turf of the navigator of the ship. Aliens are taking over other planets and Ripley finds herself forced to turn to the dark side in order to save civilization. Now I can't help but wonder what they mean by the dark side there, either meaning that Ripley has to work with Weyland Utani, the company, them being the dark side, or that she has to work with the space jockeys against the aliens, and that's considered as the dark side. Later that year, we even heard James Cameron add some information to the proposed alien movie with this quote. We're looking at doing another one, something similar to what we did with aliens, a bunch of great characters, and of course Sigourney. I've even discussed the possibility of putting Arnold Schwarzenegger into the alien movie, while later on, Ridley Scott had mentioned even adding Nicolas Cage into the movie after having worked with him on Matchstick Men. Just imagine both Arnold Schwarzenegger and Nicolas Cage fighting aliens in a story written by James Cameron, directed by Ridley Scott. This is where the first AVP movie comes in. During all this time with Fox, James Cameron and Ridley Scott were in an unofficial discussion about the movie. 
Then Fox started looking into making an AVP movie as well. James Cameron was then quoted in an interview with Total Film saying, We were in violent agreement, talking about his meetings with Ridley. Then nothing happened. It seems that Cameron continued to work on the film in some capacity, but then Fox intervened. I started working on a story, Cameron said. I was working with another writer and Fox came back to me and said, We've got this really good script for Aliens vs Predator, so I just stopped working. A year later in 2004, Ridley Scott was asked in an interview about the proposed Alien 5. They asked, what if the rumor of another Alien movie? He said, well, we've been talking about doing another one for years. It's been a complex situation. At the end of the day, a studio has to be pleased, a core audience has to be pleased, and a director has to agree to all that. I'm glad to say things are progressing. They then asked if he'd be the director. He said, I don't think I'll be directing, but I'll have some involvement. It'll probably be based on an idea I have, so I hope that I'm asked to be involved. They then asked if he could talk about the idea, and he said, In broad terms, it's something for those folks that want to see Ripley's journey come full circle. They then asked if it takes her to the home planet of the aliens, and he said, She won't necessarily see the home planet, but you might. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on where you sit with the canon of the Alien franchise, once AVP was made into a movie, both Ridley Scott and James Cameron no longer showed interest in making another Alien film. Fox would end up following up AVP with AVP Requiem, and we didn't hear anything more about Alien films until the prequels with Ridley Scott's Prometheus. Then of course we end up hearing about Neil Blomkamp's ideas for Alien 5, but that's another story for another video. So what do you guys think about a James Cameron, Ridley Scott, Alien 5 and 6, with 5 taking place on Earth and 6 on the Aliens or the Space Jockeys homeworld? Were the AVP movies worth not getting these Alien movies? Would you want to see Arnold Schwarzenegger and Nicolas Cage fight Xenomorphs? I'd love to hear your comments and ideas down in the comments section. If you liked the video, if you could leave a like, it helps out the channel so much. And if you haven't already subscribed, why not subscribe for all the future Aliens goodness to come? Thanks again for watching, take care, and I hope to see you next time.